This is a Mead ETX-90 telescope, and it comes with the LNT, the Level North Technology Red Dot Finder Scope. And if you've gotten this thing just shipped to you, or if you've had to take the cover off to replace the battery in the real-time clock, you need to realign the finder scope or red dot sight with the main telescope. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The basic procedure is you aim the main telescope tube such that there's some terrestrial object as far away as possible at your location that is in the center of the eyepiece. So in my case, I'm using a little white buoy out in the lake. Then you adjust the left and right knob and the up and down knob um, to bring the laser dot or the little red dot in line with the object, in this case my white buoy. Now the only trickiness with this particular scope is that the red dot sight is only turned on while you're doing alignments or if you manually turn it on. So if you need to figure out how to manually turn it on, what you do is you use the zero button, which has a flashlight icon next to it, and there's a tiny little red LED flashlight integrated to this. If you push and hold this for several seconds, that LED flashlight at the top will turn on. And when that light turns on, it also turns on the red dot sight here. And so that's how you set it up so that light turns on when you're not in alignment mode um, so that you can zero in your finder scope. So this is actually a lot easier to do with eye than it looks through the camera. But essentially you can see there's the red flashing dot there, and that's the red dot sight. And I need to make it line up with that tiny white buoy, which you can't see in the video, but is in the area. And so I can turn this guy on the side to go left and right until it's vertically aligned with the buoy. And then I turn the one on the bottom to go up and down until the vertical is, is lined up with that buoy. And so that's how we side in that red dot sight. 